Coming up, you're going to discover which ASO tool has the best data when it comes to optimizing for Google Play. I'm going to share real data with real keyword rankings. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app marketing space. Because so I dare say we have the best videos when it comes to growing downloads for your app. Now, I don't talk a lot about Google Play, but I'm going to today because it is one of the things that we're trying to get better at as well. Frankly, it's not as fun on Google Play as it is on Apple because of all the different localization hacks and all the different keyword fields that we have. But on Google Play, you know, it is a, an important channel, obviously, and something that I want to share more stats as we do more optimizations on Google Play. All right. So today I want to share some real data that we have for a couple of our clients, I'm not showing you the actual keywords or the app itself, but the data that we have and where they fall in, in terms of their keyword rankings based on this data. And I want to highlight which tool, ASO tool, if you're trying to do ASO on by yourself, that you can use when you're trying to optimize for Google Play. So real data to help you figure out which tool is the best. So Without further ado, let's get in to the slideshow. All right, so let's talk about app number one. Here, I'm showing you traffic and difficulty scores from Sensor Tower, and then search score is what Mobile Action calls it, and chance, which is a difficulty. Now, anything that's highlighted, it just means what I have deemed to be low competition. This is me. Okay, Steve Young, what he has, what I have deemed to be low competition. So anything above under a three in terms of difficulty on Sensor Tower, anything under a three in this column, or anything above a 70 in this column for mobile action, right? Because mobile action is the higher the chance score, the more likely you're going to rank in the top 10 for a certain keyword. Okay. Now, here's a keyword length that just tells me how long a certain keyword is. And then here are the apps that show up for that particular keyword. And then here's the rank. So this is what my one of our clients is ranking for for that particular keyword. As you can see, and what I never liked about Sensor Tower when I was doing when I was just using Sensor Tower, is that most of the keywords on Google Play are difficult. Never under three. They're always generally around five or six and nine and so forth. So really, really difficult keywords all the time. I'm like, what keyword can I possibly use then, right? Because the secret to ASO I don't know, it's, is actually trying to find these type of keywords. Pretty decent traffic scores, but you know, pretty decent competition. So mid to high traffic, low competition. And this is what 70, right on the border. Or even here, right? 23 search score low, very low competition. So what I want to highlight that is now mobile action is appearing. So if you had to pick now, what I always recommend is to use both Sensor Tower and mobile action. There's a case study that I'll link up into the show notes of a video where I compared three different tools and Sensor Tower and mobile action seem to have the most accurate on iOS. So I want to share this for Google Play because we've just done a couple of different optimizations for Google Play. So with this, you can see this is where the client is currently ranking for these particular keywords. And you can see that, hey, you know what, Sensor Tower, they're not as competitive as you're making it seem. Now, we're not ranking high because this was their rank before we optimize it, right? But I just wanted to highlight that. But this before we actually optimize it, he is already starting to rank. Whereas if I were to go in, I might not even focus on these particular keywords. So what we're doing is, and I'll probably create another video on this, is how well are they ranking now that we have actually officially optimized for that particular app. So this is without me touching, okay, their actual app yet. This is before Steve, before Steve's magic touch. Okay. So I want to make sure you, you know this. So this is very important too. Let me go to the next app and this will highlight more importantly about, I guess to give you, it'll highlight that mobile action has better data. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, because I do put this on the podcast, go check out the video because that way you can actually see the scores. Okay. Okay. So next one is Center Tower versus Mobile Action. Again, same columns, traffic difficulty, apps, search score, chance. Sorry, the, the columns are a little bit funky now. 
because they're two different clients and I always change the spreadsheet around. But anyways, difficulty, traffic, same thing. If it's under three, I've deemed it as low difficulty. And then search score, oh, I'm sorry, chance. If it's over 70, I've deemed it as low difficulty as well, okay? Now, again, this is before I've actually optimized it for a client, right? They've launched already. We had we didn't do the optimization yet. Now we're starting to do the optimization. Now they're already ranking seven and 31 for a particular keyword. Now I don't know which one's traffic score is more accurate because as you can see, mobile action is saying this search score has 41. Traffic wise, Central Tower is saying there's little traffic on this particular keyword. Who knows? We don't know yet. I can always look it up on Google just to see. The other things, when they're actually pretty close together, then you know that they have decent amount of traffic, right? This one has 54, this keyword, and Central Tower is saying 5.9. But what I really wanna highlight, because we're really focused more on the chance score, the search score we can kind of verify with Apple and with Google Play. So look on Google AdWords to see what the search score is like for this particular keyword. But the chance score is what I really wanna pay attention to. And what we see is that this particular keyword, the chance score on mobile action is 98, whereas center tower it's 6.4. So what you realize that is mobile action is actually more correct when, because we're, we haven't really even optimized for this particular keyword and we're already number seven for it. And I'm actually optimizing, I'm doubling down on this particular keyword to try to rank us better for that. So. As you can see, their chance scores tend to be more accurate than Sensor Tower, where they say almost pretty, like if you round up all these keywords, they're all around nine, 6.4. They tend to be pretty competitive, right? Nine's really out of, on scale, it's out of a scale of 10. So nine's really, really difficult, whereas chance is on a scale of 100. So 98% chance that it's gonna rank high, that's pretty accurate. We're number seven, we haven't really optimized for it. So that's that tends to be pretty accurate. So if you had to choose when you're trying to optimize for Google Play, which keyword tool, which ASO tool, I would recommend mobile action. Now, there's more data that's coming out that I wanna to create two for you, comparing the two tools when you're optimizing for UK. So watch out for that. But for now, mobile action is more accurate when it comes to optimizing for Google Play, all right? Okay, so the last thing I wanna mention is the event that I have coming on. I did all my calls today. I don't know the exact number, but we did a ton of calls, probably like 10 plus calls today with potential clients and just people who listen to the podcast and wanted to like reach, just get my advice on stuff. So shout out to Keith, shout out to Dante, and shout out to Marlon. The the other, th I wanna tell you guys about an event that I'm doing that's gonna be happening September 13th and 14th. Marlon, I hope you make it, but it is happening September 13th to 14th in Santa Cruz. I wanted, to, it's still in the Bay Area, so if you're not familiar with California, it's still technically in the Bay Area, but it's a little bit further away. It's about an hour drive from, from me, and it's far enough where I can't leave mid-afternoon, so that's why I wanted to do it out there. It's very beachy town as well. It's far enough where I can't just leave in the afternoon. I kind of have to go and stay there as well, but close enough where I can just literally drive there in the Bay Area. So it's happening, it's with really awesome people. The goal of this conference has always been to connect, to build connections that last way beyond the event and hopefully into you know, years beyond. And the greatest thing that's happened is I'm talking to a friend tomorrow, he's gonna be on the podcast, I'm interviewing him, and he still keeps in touch with the people that we met there. And that's the greatest thing, right? Like we did one in April and they've kept in touch. And there's gonna be some amazing content. So be, know that it's gonna be, that's gonna happen. And also some amazing people and it's only limited to 30. So we've, we're about 30% sold. We've got about 20 tickets left, give and take one or two. And I hope to see you there. If you're ever thinking about it, if you're on the verge, if you're like, I gotta, I gotta book this, I gotta book it. Book it now because once 31, you don't wanna be 31, I'm gonna cut it off because the room we got is very intimate. I don't want too many people. You're gonna have to be sitting on each other and I don't want that to happen. It's a very intimate setting. It's gonna be awesome. First one was awesome in Vegas. We're doing it in Santa Cruz. We're gonna do two more next year. That's what I'm committing to. And I hope to see you there. The pricing, it's $4.99 per ticket. It is my break-even price. It's what I have to pay for the venue. It's what I have to pay for the food. It's what I have to pay for all the activities that I have planned there. So it's our break-even price. I'm not trying to make money on this. We're gonna try to build it up, build some momentum on it. It's something that I wanna be known for. It's building legacy for me in my eye. 
and not necessarily a revenue. People have asked, hey, is this a good client source? What are you doing this for? Honestly, I pinch myself every day that I have a business because I started interviewing some of my heroes. And I believe in community. I believe in connections. That's why if you looked at my actions, I speak loudly about this. And I'm always, if you look at my actions, they're all geared towards community, connections, building the right meaningful connections. Because if I ever have a question about Apple search ads, I can always have, I always know somebody in my community. And that's what I love about community and connections, essentially. <laughs> Free willing this. So hope to see you there. If you want to show up, it is at mastersconnect.com, at mastersconnect.com. Again, it's happening in Santa Cruz. Be there. There's a bunch that are, we're in Vegas, are coming back for Santa Cruz. So I'm super excited about that and super excited to meet some of the people that I've known online, but never in person. Marlon, Go there at mastersconnect.com. Anybody else that's listening, if you want to come, it is at mastersconnect.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.